<laughs> These guitars are wild. And the reason I say that is because there's nothing like them. They are the 50th anniversary Flying B and Explorer. In 2008, Gibson had all these guitars of the month and they came out with all these like weird, strange amalgamations of features. And some of them are really cool and some of them are stupid. They had like reverse flying Vs and upside down uh, Explorers and crazy shit. I personally love these guitars and I've loved them since 2008. I remember first seeing these in the store and being like, that's cool. So I love the 2550s and the Super 400. These are known as like the Super 400 split block inlays. I like dead muscles and abalone and mother of pearl and shit. And that's what I want in here. Not mother of toilet seat, I want actual pearl. And most flying Vs don't actually have pearl. Secondly, it has bell brass frets and it has an ebony fretboard. This is just crazy. So apparently this Gibson logo it's like the Art Deco logo, as it's been dubbed, as you can understand, came from the, the notebooks of Ted McCarty. And apparently the only time that this, this logo was ever used was on this guitar. And Steinberg tuners in a 50th anniversary freaking gold uh, truss rod cover. This thing is crazy. Here's where it kind of bums me out. So this was supposed to have a double A top. I didn't even know that this was maple. Like this is so non-flamey. It's this custom color that only came on these guitars called the Brimstone Burst. The fact that they said AA, like this isn't even a CC, dude. Like this is nothing. This is, this is like when you show up to see Metallica and it's literally just like a winger cover band. You know, you're like, what the fuck? Don't even say it's a double A top because now I have to rate it and go, this is totally a lie. These are 57 pickups. I like the 57s. But another cool thing about this is it has all these bevels. There was like the designer Vs, or there are a few different ones. I think the V2 may have had some extra um, lines on it, but like this is kind of cool. So it has interesting contours. So in summation, we got 257s. We got ebony fretboard. We got Steinberg tuners. Very strange choice. They're like, hmm, should we put Clusens on it? Like all the original Vs? No. Should we put anything that's ever been on a V? No. Let's put these backwards fucking strange island of Dr. Moreau crazy things that stick out all at different nipple levels. I mean, don't get me wrong. It stays perfectly in tune and it's an 18 to one gear ratio. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like it's fucking intense and it looks weird. Kinda, but yeah, who am I to decide? They made 400 of these. So I would have to suspect that this will probably be a valuable guitar. I mean, I've seen them range in, in price. In fact, the Explorers seem to go for substantially more than the Flying Vs. About 200 of these went to the United States and 200 of them went to Japan. Very interesting is that these both came from Japan. Okay, if you wanna say that there's at least a burst on this now, like there's more wood flamity flame on this. Although this is a much more player's grade guitar. Like if you look at the back, somebody, went to battle with this. But that doesn't bother me. You know, they put on a locking tuner and all that sort of stuff and scratch the shit out of it. But despite the fact that there's 400 of these out there, these are hard to find. 18 to one. That's what they said, 18 to one, it's an 18 to one. I don't know what that fucking means, but it's serious. But as you can see, these, the plating has come off on them because somebody went to war with this. And it also has this interesting Gibson logo, which again, to my knowledge, these are the only two guitars on the planet that had this logo. It didn't have a truss rod cover, so I bought this little Banksy truss rod cover because I thought it was cool. Even though I said it's player's grade, it's really not player's grade in the sense that there's no brakes on this, there's no nothing. It's just got a lot of dings and dangs and honest wear and tear that if somebody played this as their main guitar since 2008, this is it. And just so you know, these are 257s as well. So I kind of like these guitars because when you look at them, they're kind of like the Flying V and Explorer Supremes because they have the ebony uh, fingerboards like the Supreme. They have the split block inlays like the Supremes. They have the bindings like the Supremes and they have the bell brass frets. That's what they are. The 50th anniversary from Japan. Again, if you want to hear what these sound like back to back, let me know right below. Cause otherwise I'm not going to walk from here to there 
because I already built up a sweat just holding these and also looking at the fact that the back of these look like a different planet. Like what type of, what is an 18 to one Steinberg tuner and why did you put it on these with the brimstone double A burst that's just a lie? That said, I think these are some freaking cool guitars. If you want to hear them, just ask nicely. Why don't you smash that subscribe button already?